Tom Meyer is known as the Bible memory man, and that's because of his unique ability to quote 20 complete books of the Bible from memory. Incredible. He's joining us here this morning, and Tom, welcome. Good to have you with us. Good to be here. Thank you. So where did, uh, you, or when did you realize that you had this gifting to be able to memorize Scripture? That's pretty incredible. Well, when I was a kid, I was bored in church, like many kids are. <laughs> so I would just read these true, 100% true accounts in the Scriptures that are the most dramatic, engaging, captivating accounts, narratives in the history of the world. And I was thinking to myself, well, why doesn't someone just do that? Like, you know, and get into it and tell it from heart. And, you know, at that time, as a kid, I was memorizing the back of baseball cards, like nobody's business. I mean, just a huge baseball card nut. So I could see looking back how memorizing the back of the cards, God used that to wire my mind and then being bored and enjoying just the scriptures, those two things together. Uh, here we are today. Wow, that's uh, pretty incredible. So were you, like, how old were you when you began to do this? And, and you know, it's one thing to realize that you can memorize things. It's another thing to be like, oh, wait, okay, it's Scripture. It's God's Word that I'm actually going to memorize. Right, and that's what keeps me going, is knowing that it's inspired and inerrant and infallible, and that's the Word of the living God, and heaven and earth will pass away, but this won't. So that's what keeps me going. But I'm 46 now. I started memorizing when I was 26, memorizing Scripture. So it's been 20 years in the making to get me to memorize 20 books. And some of them are really small, okay, like Philemon. (laughs) Sure. But some are big, like Revelation. Yeah. Well, I'm impressed that, uh, you know, you can do any book in in its entirety. I would guess that most believers can't. We recognize that we probably should be memorizing more. But I got to tell you, the older I get, Tom, the harder it is for me to memorize. And so for those of us who want to begin to memorize God's Word— but we find it a real, real, real challenge. How do you go about doing it in such a way that it might stick? Well, it's true. We know we should do it because we know the song, that word of I hit in my heart. We know Psalm 119, verse 11, yeah. but we don't do it. And the reason we don't do it is is it's just layered. We have it coming from without. You know, we live in a copy-paste Facebook tweet file for Get World. We have 10 copies at home, every translation under the sun on your phone or tablet. What do I need to memorize it for? Right. You know? And then you have it coming from within because the professors don't do it. The pastors don't do it. The parents don't do it. It's not a knock on their character in any way, shape or form, but they just, they don't do it, you know? And so we just don't get inspired. That's just it. You have to get inspired. Hopefully this is what we're doing right now, challenging them. And then when I lived in Israel and I lived in Jerusalem, I I learned from the best on how to go about doing it. And that's the other side of the coin. Like how in the world do you do it? All right. So we've got a little bit of time here. And we're not going to get into the nitty gritty of it, but principles, you know, how do you actually begin to do it? There's three different ways. Number one, and like I said, I learned from the best in the Holy Land. They know what they're talking about. So number one, reading it aloud. And that's the key, Steve. You have to read it aloud. You have to move your mouth. Hmm. Not only that, but stare at the page. The power of format is like huge. Like, you know, in your old Bible where Revelation 12 is on the page or Genesis 3 is on the page or whatever. Yeah. That's so important when it comes to memory. Two, by hearing it. The Bible is originally meant more for the ears and the eyes, like compared to reading Mozart versus hearing Mozart. Like you could read Mozart on the page all the day long, but to play someone, to hear someone play it who knows what they're doing, who believes it, it just takes on a whole new world in many ways. And that's what the scriptures are originally meant for, is more than the ears and the eyes. So long story short, whenever Don and Steve in the morning's done, just put on scripture, okay? Yeah. And just listen to book after book over and over, and you'll get it. And then third and finally is memorized by writing it out. That's how I happen to do it. And it's it's not rocket science. It's just discipline, and you got to ask God to help you. And you've actually been, you know, for 20 years, you've been doing this. And so the proof is in the pudding. You, you actually can say, yes, this is something that you can do. You've written or authored the Memorization Study Bible, showing us how to go about memorizing Scripture. What are the benefits of actually memorizing Scripture? How's it benefited you? Thank you. That's the million dollar question. Number one is it puts the mind of God within reach, Steve. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you can think, set your affection, your mind, your heart on things above. You can have words of comfort in times of need written on the tablet of your heart. It informs you and your kids and your grandkids when you have God's word in your heart, who you really are in the light of God's word. It provides us with our weapon of choice. I mean, the list is innumerable, the benefits that come, but you got to get it in there first. That's the hard part. 
Yeah, it is a challenge, and uh, for some of us, it may be harder than others, and the older I get, It's hard for me, too, Steve. Yeah. It's like, it takes me an hour a day, every day for a month, like maybe to do a chapter. Okay, that's. I think that's encouraging to hear you say that. To uh, Even though you've got 20 books under your belt, it is still a challenge for you today, but it's a challenge that hopefully we will be inspired to accept and say, yeah, I'm going to begin to uh, memorize Scripture. Tom Meyer, he is known as the Bible Memory Man, and there's a, an event coming up, The Great Recital. We're going to talk about that. On the other side of this break, it is Don and Steve in the morning. You're listening to Moody Radio. And we're talking with Tom Meyer. He's known as the Bible Memory Man, author of the Memorization Study Bible, and he's going to be uh, doing a special event coming up soon. It's called The Great Recital. And you want to find out more about that, we'll link you to that through our Facebook page. It's uh, Institute Creation Research, icr.org is the link. And we've got that link through our Facebook page, Don and Steve in the Morning. But Tom, what is the Great Recital? Well, as we may remember from Sunday school, in the Old Testament, the ancient Israelites would have the Word of God read aloud, wouldn't they? Every seven years a public proclamation of the Word of God read aloud so that the nation would know what to do as individuals and as a whole, as a community, as a nation, so that they could continue to receive the the benefits of the blessings of God. Obeying God's Word equals benefits, blessings. So in that light, because they did that during Feast of Tabernacles, it says, and this week is the Feast of Tabernacles. So in that vein, in that light, we are going to do the entire seven of us, the entire New Testament, Word for word from memory right before the midterms. Wow. So, okay, seven of you are going to be doing the entirety of the New Testament from memory, not not reading. Word for word. Oh, wow. And and so who are these other other six people? (laughs) (laughs) I'm amazed. Well, I've been, I don't like to say collect, but collecting them the last (laughs) 20 years that I've been out and about ministering, but God brings them to me too. The guy who's doing Matthew, I just got a piece of fan mail and he says, my name's Scott. I'm a retired school teacher in Kokomo, Indiana. If you ever need someone to recite Matthew, let me know. (laughs) And so, or meeting them and Uh churches and stuff. So I put this team together. Look at Steve. These are just normal people. Okay. They're not polished actors who are used to memorizing scripts. These are normal people who love God, who love God's word and who memorize it and who will speak it by faith. Uh, I love that. And, uh, you know, hopefully that is inspiring each and every one of us to become a little bit more serious about scripture memorization. And uh, you were talking about the benefits about that a moment ago. Um, If you want to actually see this, be a part of that, when and where is the great recital occurring? Well, it's going to occur this week, Tuesday through Saturday, and it's going to be available live and in person at the Discovery Center in Dallas, Texas, or people could go to, like you said, icr.org and get a free live stream of the event. It'll be from like 10 to 3 central, Tuesday through Saturday. Um, you know, like tomorrow, all we could do is Matthew and Mark <laughs> because in four or five hours, because that's how long it takes to speak those two from heart. So it'll just be line upon line, word upon word, 27 books, 260 chapters, 8,000 verses, et cetera, of the whole thing. Wow. Very cool. And uh, do you, are you doing Revelation? Are you bringing it home? Yeah, I'm going to bring it home. I'm going to do the Revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place. And I'll do a couple of the ones too. That's uh, very cool. Um, for those who do want to memorize scripture, um, I think watching this <laughs> could be a huge encouragement. Obviously, if you're not in Dallas, it might be a little challenging to do that, but icr.org and I encourage you to go check that out tomorrow through Saturday at the Discovery Center is where that's going to be at. But uh, go to the website, check it out, icr.org. Um, Tom, we've talked a little bit about the tips, you know, listening, writing it down, just, uh, you know, reading it out loud as well. Um, but for the person who says, okay, can I really do this Tom? I'm 50, I'm 60, I'm 65 or 70. My brain doesn't work like it used to. I'm having a hard time. Is there really hope for me to, to memorize scripture? Well, what if, Everyone listening, what if Steve gave you $500 a verse for every verse you memorize from now until Christmas? Do you think you'd get busy memorizing for $500 a verse? Of course you would. <laughs> yep. But how much more is the word of God worth than filthy lucre 
So it just takes a little inspiration. It's like exercising, like working out at the beginning of the year. It's hard. It's tough. You don't want to do it. But after you do it for a while, you see results. It begins to begin, quote, unquote, easier. And then once you see the benefits that come from hiding God's word in your heart, you'll, you'll, you'll say to yourself, why didn't I start this 20 years ago? It's just one verse a week. Yeah. Tom, what are the uh, benefits that you personally have seen from doing this? Well, number one is that it, it, no matter where I am and no matter what I'm doing, I can set my mind on things above. I've become a better father, a better parent. Or Wait, those are the same. A better spouse. That's what I meant. <laughs> a better friend, a better believer. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So you become more like the God you worship when you put his word in your heart and you think upon it and obey it. Tom Meyer with us, known as the Bible Memory Man. He's uh, memorized and is able to quote over 20 complete books of the Bible for memory, author of the Memorization Study Bible, showing you how to succeed in memorizing Scripture. And he and six others are going to be quoting the entire New Testament, word for word, Matthew to Revelation, and it gets underway tomorrow. It's called The Great Recital. More information about that when you visit the website icr.org. That's for the Institute Creation Research, icr.org, or we'll link you to that through the Facebook page. Don and Steve in the morning, you're listening to Moody Radio.